So I grew up in the city of Pomona, and when I graduated from Pomona High School, the school that I accepted was Claremont McKenna College. It just happens that at that particular moment, I was going through some very real challenges in my life. Um, it, my father and uh, my, my parents separated in the middle of my second year. I, I failed, and, uh, but I knew I wanted to continue college. I wanted to make sure that I took care of my mom uh, at some point, and uh, I enrolled at, at Chafee Community College. I was pretty lost when I arrived at Chafee College, and um, I met a lot of people who took an interest in me uh, when I needed it most, and uh, that's, that's what that place can do, uh, is it can transform a life and it transformed mine. And it saved me, so for that reason I'm forever grateful for that Chafee experience. So after I graduated from Chafee, I decided uh, to go to UC Riverside and graduated with BA in English Literature. Shortly after I graduated, I was asked to help co-found a nonprofit in Pomona called Bright Prospect. Uh, it was a program that was intended to help the young people from this community who were perhaps were thinking of going to schools like UCLA and Berkeley to get them to consider going to schools that they had never heard of before. Those schools also wanted to diversify, so they provided tremendous financial aid. So $50,000, $60,000 education fully funded. I think over time it became clear to me that uh, Pomona really needed political change. Uh, you know, I had been working with these young people uh, from this community for close to 15 years and I wanted to make sure that we didn't lose those kids, you know, where sometimes communities sort of have this brain drain uh, because we haven't created the opportunities for them to come back uh, and to serve in some capacity. And I really felt at the time that what we needed was new leadership. And I was elected mayor uh, in November 2016. Shortly after I was elected, when the state passed SB 54, the California Values Act, we as a city also passed an ordinance saying that we respect our diverse community and that we are going to ensure their safety. And our city elected to build a homeless service center. What we said is, Let's do the right thing. Let's make sure that we have a place for them to get their lives back. And so this past December, we opened up the Homeless Services Center, which is currently housing over 200 homeless people. So it's in this position, we're able to create policy that has a tremendous impact on the lives of our residents. If I could be in a position to help others, who by extension could help their families, that I believe that I'd fulfilled my calling.